Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how can you import data from a picture to Excel. Some of the times we get a printed copy of some certain things and we take a snap of it and then try to manually feed the data in Excel in certain cases, right? So let me show you one example, how can you import data from a picture to Excel? So if you uh, follow my mouse here, I have one blank Excel sheet open and here I want to import that particular picture. So what I need to do currently, I'm in home tab. I need to go to data tab. There I'll be able to get one option, get data. I'll click on this particular uh, small drop down and from other sources, you'll be able to find one option that is from picture and a picture from file. So if I click on that, it will give me a prompt. If you have already copied the data and it's in clipboard, then that can be also fetched from the clipboard. However, I'll import it from the file itself. So I'll click on that and then this file picker will open and I have it down under downloads, uh, supporting materials, picture, then I'll select this particular picture. I have two, I'll show both, but first I'll start with this one and I'll click on insert. So now it is uh, reading that particular picture and you can see the data from picture and now it gave me certain options. So if I just uh, maybe expand a bit, yeah, I think it will be visible now. So there are certain RAID options where Excel sensed that uh, maybe something is not right, something needs to be checked. Uh, you can see this particular blank RAIDs are these dashes, right, whatever is there. So if I just click on that, it will zoom into that particular cell and you can see it's showing. So it's a dash. What I'll do, I'll avoid that. Now here, some certain things needs to be checked. That is, I think instead of 100 Mbps, it is sensed as I instead of one, it sensed I. So what I'll do, I'll change that. I'll click on accept. I'll do the same for the next cell also. I think instead of typing that entire table, just correcting couple of cells is, I think always good, right? I think here also one GBPS instead of that, it sensed I GBPS. So I'll just click on that and I'll again rectify that and then accept. Now we can see that all red items, wherever our attention were required, we have corrected that. And only these three cells are there, which are actually blank. And uh, there are some dashes, I will not go for that. And what I'll do, I'll click on insert data. So once I click on that, it will give me one prompt that the four items are still require review. So those four uh, red cells, right? What it's showing about, but it's fine that I'll click on insert anyway. Now you can see that it's pasted the data. Now let me show you how was the picture. Now it's also a photo of an Excel table and that's why Excel could sense the data and it can fetch it from there. If I just uh, minimize this window, you can see this is the data, this is the picture from where it fetched this particular data. So now considering this data was a bit structured and uh, this particular feature worked uh, because this uh, picture to Excel doesn't work all the time. I'll show you one option where it may not work properly because that's a complex picture from there it will not be able to pull out. I'm in the process to publish another video where I'll, where I'll show you a more easier way to do it using your mobile phone and um, I, that's coming soon so uh, if you want to see that content please can subscribe to my channel and enable the notification bell and uh, let me show you the other picture i was talking about this is the other picture so it's a uh, internet plan and uh, there are different multiple complex things are there so let me show you that how that uh, will work out if i click on the new tab and then i'll go to data again get data from other sources from the picture and i select the other picture here and if I click on insert, it will again try to read that particular and analyze the particular image. It's taking a bit more time than earlier one, considering it's a complex one. Now you can see it is showing too many rates and it could not sense the thing. If I just insert the data, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. It's showing 172 items require review. So instead of that, I'll manually type it, right? So I'll click on any wise, then you can see it could not able to do the justice, right? So in case you have a data set, which is maybe a bit not that complex and which is an actual photo of maybe Excel table or in other ways. So then you can still fetch the data from those pictures. So this is, the, uh, this is all about it. I wanted to show you this option that how can you import data from a picture to Excel file. So hope you learned something new today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to watch similar content in future.
thank you for your time bye bye for now